picking up the pieces and feeling lucky things weren't worse. People in Nagoffin County dealing with the aftermath today of a tornado that touched down on Tuesday. News Channel 3's Joseph Payton joins us on the scene with a look at the damage. EMA Director Robert Prater tells me he's really glad that nobody got hurt. And all things considered, he feels as though the county dodged a bullet. This video from folks who live on Board Tree Road shows the immediate aftermath of Tuesday's EF1 tornado with winds topping out at 100 miles per hour. It's better that it happened in the forest and the timber rather than being in town or, you know, where a lot of people live, uh, trailer parks or anything like that. It's been bad. EMA Director Robert Prater says tornadoes of all shapes and sizes are a cause for concern, especially for a community devastated by a much more powerful one just a decade ago. Everybody is more skittish because we got hit once and they don't want it to happen again. Fortunately, this one was much smaller and short-lived. It's not unheard of, but a tornado in eastern Kentucky is still pretty rare. For some, it may even be hard to believe. If you've come out here and viewed the path of this one, though, the evidence is pretty clear. Traveling about seven-tenths of a mile on the ground. It was just a narrow path. It came across the ridge. You could see where it came across, and it just touched in a couple places up that one hollow. Uh, trees were down. Some of them twisted off and stuff, and then it was gone. Over the last couple of days, the National Weather Service, along with many of the folks who live in this area, have been able to clean up much of the debris. So if you do drive out this way, the roadways are clear. In McGoffin County, Joseph Payton, WSAZ News Channel 3. Uh, Prater says the tornado sirens in McGoffin County did not go off on Tuesday as they did not have confirmation of a tornado touchdown at the time of that storm.